I have a number of examples where pharmacists and the physician care model has really helped patients. Um, in, in the practice that I used to work at, we used to have pharmacists um, that would have patients refer to them for patients that had chronic conditions that were uncontrolled. So a lot of it revolved around diabetes, uh, patients that were challenged for many things related to their diabetes, either affordability issues with a complex regimen, they you know, had understanding issues with um, what they would need to do, or people that just didn't want to start insulin, for example, when they were first prescribed insulin. So what we ended up doing is really having a team-based approach. The physician would refer the patient to the pharmacist, and then the pharmacist would spend more time um, speaking to the patient about their needs, their questions, other things that they might have tried. You know, simple things like you know, sometimes they were receiving recommendations from their neighbors, and following that recommendation more so than what was what was um, being addressed in the actual health center. And that's fine because that's where health is happening. It's happening in the community. So we were really just trying to assess what the knowledge base was for the patient and then trying to elevate that and make sure that they understood and actually just have a conversation to see what they were willing to do and what we were able to do to help them get there. So when we look at the patient and really start understanding what community issues are, what the issues are around their health care access and affordability, we can start making real progress in getting patients under control.